Hey guys, Jason Cipriani here, a CNET How To contributor, and today I want to take a look at how to upload a photo to a specific photo album on Facebook using the iOS or Android app. The recent updates have enabled this feature and streamlined it to be a little bit easier for you to use. In the past, there were ways around it, but they took a lot of steps, and this is right within the photo upload process. So here's how it works. So the steps required to upload a photo to a specific album on Facebook are identical regardless if you're using the iOS or the Android app. There is one exception though and that is through the Android app you cannot create a new album, you can only upload to an existing album. The iOS app does allow for you to create new photo albums from the device. So what we'll do is we'll launch the Facebook app, tap on photo like we would normally to upload a photo, select a random photo here, and you'll notice now a new icon next to the camera here in this bar that looks like a photo album or a book. Tapping on that will reveal all the photo albums currently on your Facebook account as well as in the top right corner here you'll see there's a button titled new and that allows you to create a new photo album set the privacy settings and all of that for the album itself I'm gonna pick a random photo album here just for demonstration purposes and now I can set the privacy level I can tag anybody I need to in it and upload my status update along with the photo and then just tap on upload to upload that picture to that respective album. Told you it was a lot easier this time around. You don't have to go through your mobile browser or your web browser at a later date to move photos around into the respective albums they need to be in. You can now do it during the upload process. Hopefully Facebook adds the ability to create a new album from the Android app sooner rather than later. It's a handy feature to have. Once again, I'm Jason Cipriani, a CNET How To contributor, and make sure to visit us at howto.cnet.com for more great tech tips.